What's up guys? So we're on the Viltrox 13mm f1.4 and I'm going to talk about the two best value lenses on the Fuji X-Mount. So this lens is a great value on Fuji. It's also a great value on Sony. You've got a good shallow depth of field at 1.4, good autofocus. I think it's a pleasing image. So this lens is good for photos. I use it for skateboarding photos or landscape, stuff like that architecture for me this lens is more useful than the 27 or the 75 because you've got a wider field of view so you can use it for vlogging this is what it would look like if i was holding the camera i have probably a little longer arms than some of you guys but I'll try to get my hand out of the shot that's what it looks like if i was vlogging with it and this is an older camera. This is a like five, six hundred dollar camera, the X-T2. What do you guys think of the image? All right, so now we're on the TT Artisans 27 millimeter f2.8. This is a pretty pleasing lens for talking headshots like this. I actually think this looks a little better than the Viltrox for this kind of thing, because I'm not as distorted. Yeah, that looks really good. What do you guys think? So this is a lot bigger, heavier, but it's got that 1.4 for low light. This 2.8, not bad. This is a super cheap lens. I got this lens for $70. Both of these lenses have aperture rings. Now, I didn't actually show the TT Artisans while I was filming on the Viltrox. I'm gonna have to switch back over to show it because the best thing about the TT Artisans is how small it is. It's sharp, great for photos great sharp in the center you know if you're doing talking headshots like this and I'm not that far away if I were to touch the camera if I were holding the camera that's how far I would be from the camera I've got my hand on the bottom of the camera there not bad what do you guys think which one do you like better for street photography I would probably take the TT Artisans because it's smaller lighter the autofocus is fine. It's got an aperture ring as well. For landscape, portraits, skateboarding photos, I would take the Viltrox. But I think these two lenses are both a really great value. So here is the TT Artisans 27mm f2.8. So we've got a thick lens cap that's got a USB-C for updating it. It's so tiny, it's as small as the Fuji 27. We've got an aperture ring with clicks. This is a nice lens. Hopefully the autofocus is doing okay on the X-T2. This hasn't even been updated. This is the original firmware. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Scroll through my channel, check out my other videos, and hit that subscribe button because I got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.